Seeds of peace, the sower and the envoy, the result of months of toiling behind closed doors has been put out for everyone to see. Vilwad Oshinowo exhibits over 20 works of Islamic art at the National Museum, Lagos, showcasing the latest technique he has been working on and how it all comes together. This is an exhibition that is not always common. Maybe the last one we had was three years ago in Abuja. And the, last, the one we had in Lagos was about six years ago. I don't just exhibit, but I have message to pass. And that is why I have this seed of, the seed of peace, the soul and the ever, because it's a strong message. The beauty of calligraphy is seen here, as words from the Holy Quran are infused into these works with an instruction for the faithful. To make these art pieces takes time. We've been on this one now for the past one year, and uh, we can only bring out 50 pieces. But they are very good quality pieces, and hopefully sometime in future, we intend to make it an international Islamic art exhibition. So it's more than just the aesthetics. The message is key. And the messenger is only an instrument for conveying this to the viewer. So each piece represents a seed, playing up all the virtues that birth peace. A new type of framing has been introduced to complement each work of art. A lot of gold and brown adds to the aesthetics. In keeping with the dictates of Islam, this artist does not go overboard, but restricts himself to what his religion permits and is still able to bring out beauty from it all. A lot of art patrons are here to give support to not just the artist, but the message, one they feel cannot be overemphasized, especially during these times. This is us depicting what Islam says and um, everything about Islam. It is not all about violence and it is all about being, being indoor. But you can, creativity is part of Islam. Even during the time of the prophets, there has been creativity. When you go to the Arab world in um, Saudi Arabia, in Iran, you see so many beautiful artworks depicting what the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi has told us. Because Islam talks about the Quran and the Sunnah, that's the sayings of the Prophet. And everything here is evolving around what the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi has told us and what the Quran has told us. The average uh, uh, Muslim person is a conservative person. But with this show, I think there is a break between that conservatism and contemporary. You know, uh, the artist has been very contemporary. Uh, he's been able to contemporize uh, his works to the extent that an average Muslim cleric would want to put any of these works in his own. There's also a clarion call for everyone to do what they can and use the arts for change. Ridwan Oshinawa hopes that the seeds he has sown through these works of art fall on fertile ground and bear fruit in the viewer who is just a part of the envoy that has been sent to heal the world. Oga Steve Abba, theatre educator and researcher, was born on July 15, 1953 in Onyewe, Benue State, Nigeria, the son of Abba and Ogba Emaiku. He has a Bachelor of Arts and Masters of Arts degree from the Ahmadu Bello University, Zaria, and a Doctor of Philosophy from the University of Leeds, United Kingdom. Abba is a Professor of Theatre for Development at the Ahmadu Bello University, where he has taught since 1979. He is one of the leading theorists in theatre for development, an area in which he has researched since the 1980s. In his works, he aims for a creative, aesthetic, empowering theatre practice drawing on masquerade and dance, the existing forms of performance of both peasant society and urban workers. Through this technique, people address the inequalities in their lives and create exquisite dramas in open-air settings all over Africa. He has been the president of Nigerian Popular Theatre Alliance, Nzaria, since 1989, chairperson Nigerian Participatory Action Research Network, Ibadan, 1994 to 1996, 
program coordinator at Second Chance Organization Nigeria since 1996. He is a fellow of the Chicago Humanities Institute and a member of the African Association Theatre for Development. You can enjoy Art House on any of these platforms. From paintings to performances, thank you so much for spending time with us. And always remember, an artist is not a special kind of man, rather every man is a special kind of artist. So your job is to find what makes you tick and set it free. I'm Melinda Akilami, bye for now. Thank you.